Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Roleplay Oblivion. As we remember last time, we're almost dead, and I don't know why. We'll rectify that. Here in a minute, we're going to take our breakfast... Not that anymore, I don't think. Take our breakfast down... Ten years of research down the drain. But don't look at me like that. Hello. Oh. Hello. I've seen you before. You what were... do you want? Uh, the it... What? The Inn and Farragut. You were in the Inn and Farragut. Why can I ask you about Julia? <clears throat> um, Julia is uh, Lucius in ways old girlfriend, but we're supposed to see Publius Publius Candidus about that. I haven't seen this option with... I... Uh, mm, okay, I suspect that he's related to the quest then. But I can't, I don't think I would know to ask him about Julia. I would never know that, of course. So no, I, I can't ask him about that now. I bet he figures into the quest, though. The Imperial City is a walled city, with separate inner walls protecting the Imperial Palace. Hmm. Thank you. Good day. Good day, you. Whoever you are. Okay, <clears throat> uh, some breakfast. We'll get into the alchemy pocket and cook up some badass super kills, I think. Uh, and then some, some exploration. A little bit of water, and apparently we're just dying here. Of hunger? I don't know. We're gonna eat like a horse, though. What do those do? Oh, we have Night Eye! <gasps> Worm's Head Cap does Night Eye. Fantastic. Ooh, and Paralyze. Wow. Okay, we ate a little bit of everything there. Um, Alchemy Pocket. Let's just open the container, because I don't even know what the heck I want. Okay, I think I've got enough potions... Ah, let's take Cloverleaf. Um, sure, we'll take those two. We'll take the Lich Dust. We'll take the Mummy Wrappings. Hmm. Damage endurance. You know, if I'm taking if I'm taking fortify endurance potions to increase my health, a damage endurance poison would decrease the enemy's health. I should see if I have more damage endurance. Let's take those and let's leave those. Okay, so now we're going to do some alchemy. Oh man, I'd really like to ask that guy about Julia. Because I'm pretty sure he's related to the quest. Um, I, I won't, though. I will resist the temptation. Okay. Oh, I don't have my Loremore Spines with me, my other invisibility ingredient. Oh, well. Okay, Worm's Head Cap. Anything else that doesn't I? Oh, yeah, baby. Carrot and Viper Boot Gloss. Perfect. Okay. Now let's look at what kind of bad drain drain health damage health thing we can make here. Hmm. <laughs> let's do the mummy wrappings. Um Nope, 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 nope. I don't want that. I want... What do I want? Wraith Essence. Paralyze. Do I have other Paralyze ingredients? I don't. Rats. Okay, so I don't want to do Paralyze. I want to do Damage Health then. What kind of Damage Health do I have? I forget. 
Dragon's Tongue. And Stinkhorn Cap, Nightshade. I think that's it. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll call this again. We're calling this Super Kill. Not a great name, I know, but you can make three of those. Add the Nightshade. Make one of those. I think that's going to be all we're going to get out of those. Unless I want to just make Drain Health, but the Drain Health on its own isn't so impressive. Though I could maybe do it with a... Do I have like damage? Fire damage or shock damage or something? Pretty sure I have shock damage somewhere. Weakness to shock. Ah, ectoplasm. But I bet there's nothing that goes with it, is there? Oh, I want don't want the spell. Um, there, my alchemy. What is it? The refiner, I think, lets me do that. So, do I have other? I don't think I do. No other shock damage. Nah. Nah. Okay. Just remove it all. Remove it all. Get it all out of there. Okay, where was my Fortify Endurance? There we go. Have any other of those? Oh, right. Iron Filings, I have a bunch of them. Uh, clear. Hmm... Actually, no. Down here. Let's go with a uh, minute, I think. There we go. I can only create one. It hardly seems like it was worth all that trouble, honestly. All that clicking. Um, I know I don't have my other invisibility. Do I have... I think I should have some stuff. <coughs> Excuse me to do some restore fatigues. I think I need some of those. Like tobacco. I won't eat tobacco. There we go. Um, should I dip into my food to do another one? Sure, I'll do one scrib jerky. Got a lot of script jerky, so I don't mind that much. Uh, okay. Anything else? Restore strength. Nah. Restore endurance. More drains. Restore speed. I think that's going to be it. Ooh, unrefined green moat. Drain fatigue and drain health would be perfect with Nurn Root. Um, okay, that's going to be it, I think. Did that for a while, didn't we? Oh, but now we have to go back to the alchemy pocket and replace everything. Actually, I'm just going to store all my ingredients. And then I could probably put some potions in there, maybe. Five lay down and dies. That's good. Two, uh, yeah. Okay. Pose potions of invisibility. Three restore fatigue. Homemade. Six shield. Oh wait, that's in that's in the pocket. Okay. This is me. Ugh. That's kind of a cr crap poison. Burden doesn't really work on NPCs, you know. Because they usually don't have that much loot on them, so if they're of a similar level to me, they're going to have a carrying capacity of, you know, 300 or so. But uh, they're not going to have that much 
weight on them. So a burden of 38 points, whatever it was, isn't really good. Ah, uh, let's store those. A flynn. Oh, that's right. I don't need that many night eyes. Let's store five of them. Store it. Store it. I'll sell it later. Store. Eh, yeah, store. Store. Super feathers I'll keep out. Super kills I'll keep out. And store that. That's good, so that gives me a 223 out of 328, which is about 100 pounds of free encumbrance. And we did that until noon. That took us a while. Alright, I bet you money we're going to be spending the night again here tonight. Because I think just this exploration of whatever it is on the other side of the river is going to take up so much of our day that we probably won't explore too much further up the river tonight. <clears throat> but we'll see. So, yes, we're checking this out because it could possibly be related to Tiru's mysterious translation. Um, I have thought of something, and that is uh, that this waterfall might actually match another clue in the translation says something about, so we're, we're supposed to find a stream of life, which is probably a river, with an ancient city at its end, which could be Nenalata, because it is at the end of the river. Um, <clears throat> right? Let's take a look. I'm just going to do the console here so we don't waste time while we're doing this. Um, stream of life with the city at the end, and there's supposed to be, it's like three bars or something like that, and I've, the thought that occurred to me was, the bars could be, it could mean like on a map, it could mean the bridges, because there's a bridge here, that's one, a bridge here, that's two, and then this waterfall that's by the Vantage, there was a bridge over it too, so that could be one, two, three, that third, that could be the third bridge, and then the veil beyond the three bridges, right? The three bars, rather. The veil beyond the three bars. And then it says that there's more bars, but leading astray, so that could be, that bridge there could be meant to say that it's leading astray. Is a waterfall. But I'm also pretty sure, pretty sure that, um, that vantage, that place that we were yesterday with the statues and stuff, that's added by unique landscapes. I'm pretty sure it's not added by the stranded light. But we'll see. Who knows? climb this hill, which will be some effort. Hopefully we won't encounter any goddamn mystical imps or wolves that knock us on our ass. Okay, there's the beacon. There's the waterfall. Here's the bridge, or possibly the third bar. So it said it was it would be behind the veil, near heaven, nearer to heaven, in the sky mirror. So that would mean that there's, if this is the place, there's might maybe a door behind the veil, or maybe it's not actually there. See, but then this could be the three bars too. That doesn't really look like bars; it's arches. Power for the well, and I fill my canteens. Very good. Don't know how I do that at a magical well, but. Just look this way. Oh, a wolf. 
Whoops. Considerably short. I don't know what that was. Was that over or was that short? He knows about me now. <laughs> he ran all that way. All that work, this poor guy. Just to get bonked on the head with the sword. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything over here that would indicate that we're in the right place. Let's try to go up this waterfall again and see if maybe we can see into the waterfall itself. Again, I think this is... Jesus. I think this is unique landscapes, though. Do I have my helmet on? I don't. Four. Got him. Risky this. Nope, I'm not gonna get up there. I have to climb higher, I guess. Floating summer bullet, that's a very rare specimen right there. Okay, we're back up here on the top. This is dangerous, but oh, a potion of slow fall would be very good. Uh, not potion, a spell of slow fall. I wish I would have brought that. <gasps> Ooh. Uh. Ow! Ooh, I fell into a rock. Uh oh. Anything up here? No doorways that I can see. Oh god. Well, we're behind the veil if this is the veil. Woo! I rolled. I don't know how I rolled, but I rolled. We're in the veil. There's nothing. Ow! Oh! <laughs> God! Oh, I'm underwater. Uh. Oh boy. Uh. At least the current's not too strong. Now I can't really see. Let's see if we can cross over the other side. I'm almost dead. Again! <laughs> that was rather funny. Can I see? Is there... Looked like there was some... I don't know. Uh, in my mind's eye, I saw... A, a like a cave door there, but I don't know. Let me get a better look. It's probably not. It's probably not there. It's probably just a rock that 
some reason. Let's see, I was here. Well, that's not a cave door. That's the top. There's nothing there. No. That, uh, in, my, in the corner of my eye, when I fell earlier, that looked like a doorway, possibly. But it's not. It's not. It would seem that if this is the place... There's nothing that gives it away. You just read this one last time and then we'll move on. Stream of life. City lost long ago at its end. Three bars to the fall. More following but leading the stray. Behind the silver veil, closer to heaven, resting at sky's mirror. Three steps, waiting between the second and the third. A dark one. One of the darkest and a dark one. A friend is the first, a substitution, the second, a danger, the third. Do not meet the two. Apart from the three bars, which could be the three bridges, and this being a stream of life with a city at its end, and that being a waterfall, which I assume is what the fall refers to, and the silver veil, nothing about the... sky mirror or the... closer to heaven thing applies, nor does any of the steps or three dark ones none of that stuff applies to this so I don't know probably not this I'm making my way back this way to explore this little area of bank here before we got to the bridge so we came up over there. So I'll just start it here. I don't see any Nern root here. Yeah, it was right over there that we went up, right by that tree. The time is what? What? 312. Oh, we have plenty of time. Well, we won't stay at Imperial Bridge in tonight, then we'll probably camp out, because will be a long way from here by the time nightfall hits. I was kind of expecting there to be a dungeon up there. It's just an alien well. I wonder if you get your athletics increases more when you're water walking because it take it would take more effort, I would think. <gasps> a doomstone. Oh, and a urn root on that island. Don't let me forget it. I will have to uh, stick around this urn, this doomstone rather, until at least nightfall. I don't think I can jump this, but I don't think I need to. This is not like this goes back much farther. How about this? Let's just try it though, just for fun. For Azura! Up! Oh. Ooh! Oh. Just smack my face on a rock. Okay, I can't jump that. Another stream. Same stream. Just two branches, I guess. Stredria Falls. Stredria Falls is new. Hmm. Oh, dude. Nope. Nope. He's like, ha, ah, I'll get him while he's choosing his weapon. <laughs> I'm like, no, you won't. Take it for food. Check out this stone up here. Lover stone, okay. I know I won't be able to get its power until nightfall, but I'll just... We'll be in the area. In fact, we may camp out here. Who knows? Okay. 
Okay, let's continue. Yeah, because I'd rather have whatever the lover stone power is over the over Mara's kind of crappy curse <laughs> blessing and curse. Mm. I'm just gonna ignore you guys. Cool. It's like uh, Fellowship of the Rings. A uh, ring, singular. Falls of Raros, I think is what it's called, on the Anduin River. Lots of stuff around here. And lots of lag, too. I'm going to try to get up there. You know what I should be doing? i got to remember. Um, yeah, I was going to say, there are quest dungeons nearby. I need to not forget about them. Lost Boy Cavern, which is... Oh God, what is Lost Boy Cavern related to? It's a merchant quest for Elsinia. It's actually the last of her dungeons, because we've already been in Bloodrun Cave, though we had to turn around. And we've been in Kindred Cave and cleared it. So that's hers. And then um, over here actually is Abandoned Mine. It's not on our map, but Abandoned Mine is a place that Niloen and Braville told us to look for her father's pickaxe. Goblins. Took it. Um, Collapsed Mine and Deserted Mine were also hers. So I'll have to make a detour over here. Probably when we do Lost Boy Cavern, we'll just go straight over there. But in the meantime, let's try to get... Oh! And the fort right by Imperial Bridge Inn. <coughs> fort Flesia is Alves Uvenum's last remaining location after we checked Barren Mine, Haunted Mine, Fort Goldthroat, and then Fort Flessy is the last one we have to check. And there's some landscape tears up here. How the hell am I going to get up there? can't get up there. Okay, let's work our way through the tears. Ignore the tears, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. More waterfalls. Wait a minute. We passed under a bridge. That could be the third bar. It could be this fall. Oh, God. So much. So much terrain that we don't know anything about. Such a vague clue. Okay, we'll come back to that fall and check it in a minute. I want to see what this bridge is all about. Goes to that. Oh! It's quite an installation. Whoa! Why did I get a quest update? Periite's Shrine. What was the quest update? Unexpected Expedition. Oh, here we go. I found the shrine to Periite, but something is wrong with its worshippers. They seem frozen in time. Mindless. None move or speak. Must be level 2 to begin this quest. Hide that one. Um, hide that one for now. Because nobody mentioned that it had anything to do with vampires. This one, yes, these people are strangely frozen in place. Um, I'm going to say that Nebish knows enough about Daedra to be able to recognize that this is a Periite shrine. But given that Periite isn't one of his preferred Daedra, um, and 
that these people are kind of creepy. I don't think he's going to approach the shrine, actually. I'm not going to be anywhere near the Lover's Stone at nightfall, am I? I'm going to be way the hell upriver. Well, I'll just have to save it from some other time, I guess. Let's go check out this waterfall.